Listen up, men. There's some things that you should never tell anyone. And I mean anyone. Or else they'll make you seem like a loser. I'm just playing with y'all. What's up, bro? Welcome to the video. Like, who am I to tell you what you should and shouldn't do? That's your own decision. But however, I do like giving my experiences in this channel once in a while. And that is why I'm going to talk about the things that you as a man should never tell anyone. And these are the things which I used to say back then, thinking that they made me look cool. Or maybe sometimes I'll just be saying that because I didn't really realize that I was saying it. But all I can say is that it really had a negative impact on me because it made me come out as weak. And if you're ready, let's get started. So this takes me back to high school and I was telling my friends that I want to go to the gym to start working out. But I had this ambition that one day I'd come and open up my own gym. And I was telling people about it, like telling my friends that, oh, I'm, I'll just go to the gym for, for a while, but one day I'm going to open my gym. Or I was out with a girl on a date with a girl and, and I was telling her that, oh, I might be going to the gym right now, but later I'll be opening my own gym. Like looking back at it right now, I don't really see the reason for why I was telling them. Well, the reason is I don't seem important. I didn't just want people to look at me as a normal gym guy. Nah, I need to be looked at as a gym guy on a mission to open up his gym. But here's the thing, I actually had no idea of how to start a gym. Like I didn't even have the basic knowledge of how to start a gym. Even the funds, I have no funds available to even start a gym. But this is what I was saying every time. Like when I was out on a date with a girl, and she would ask me, like, how was I going to do that? I was just blowing off steam out, out of my ass, just giving her, just giving her her first answers so that she may think that I'm a high-value man. But actually, I have no idea about the gym. And that is why my number one rule is to never tell anyone about my future plans unless I've taken one or two steps towards it. That is because once I start telling people about it, it will actually bring more validation towards me and make me more lazy because, ah... They really know I'm going to start my own gym. Ah, they really know that I'm going to start my own YouTube channel. So what's the rush? You get what I'm saying? So that is what I want to instill to people also that if you have a future plans, don't tell anyone about it unless you have taken steps towards it. You have already started doing something about it. That's when you have to tell it, if you want to tell it. But only make sure you tell someone if they ask you to. Don't even start blabbering your mouth just because you are doing something with your life. And when you think about it, it will actually make you more mysterious because people will actually want to know more about your life. Like what are you doing with your life? What are your goals? That's when you have to tell it. And make you more interesting to people to talk to. And also increase your charisma because you actually have something to talk about. And also some people actually sit through your bullshit and tell you that, ah, this guy just loves talking about what he'll do but never actually take action upon it and that will actually make you seem like a low value man who doesn't really take action to what he'll say that you'll do so better off just shut up and just work on your goal so a few years back i was actually talking to a guy i knew and he told me something really important about him secret wise and i don't know why if some few days later i went and told the girl that i was with let's call her stephanie but i used to call her hefani sorry but either way back to the point i told her the secret and a few days later i was she was on a phone with a friend telling her the same thing that i told her about my friend and i was like oh come on why, why did you do this now <sighs> and that made me realize that there are, there are actually no secrets like once you tell someone something just know that it will go around and and circulate to one other person like I knew he told me because he actually confined in me. But then me, I broke his trust and told, and told someone else. Now, the story went back to him. Now, he thought that I'm just a, a selfish, shitty friend because I, didn't, I couldn't even keep a simple secret for him. And that is why my rule number two is that whenever someone tells me a secret, I make sure that that secret goes to me in the grave, like no matter what. Because just sharing the secret just comes from a place of weakness, you know what I mean? Like, at that moment, why did I tell the secret? Because I just wanted to feel important because I had the inside scoop and I wanted to feel important to that person because I knew something that she didn't, she didn't know. But that actually came from a place of weakness and uh, I learned my lesson. And I'm telling you, 
once anyone tells you something, make sure that you protect his trust, put it aside, that secret, hold it in. Don't tell anyone. And that's just the small values which make you a high value man because people can actually trust with what they're saying to you. This society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please You're all too loud You don't speak quietly, opinions violently Thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man Now, I remember those times back then I used to get myself into these types of situations where I would meet someone, maybe a friend from the past, and they'll tell me that we have to link up and do something together, plan some type of event that we should catch up on. And back then, I would just say yes, just to seem like the next guy because I really knew that I couldn't really make it. But because I didn't want him to feel bad, I would say, yeah, sure, let's meet up. I'll call you. And, uh, but I used to cut myself into, the, into my own situations where I'm doing something really important for me. But the guy will still come and text me like, hey, what's the, what about the plan that we are supposed to meet up and do see da, 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 da. Now with that, I keep on making excuses. Each day, they text me. And I just come off like someone who is not reliable because I agreed to it. And I could have easily said no, but I just want to seem like the nice guy. And with that being said, my third rule is never make any expectations towards someone. If you know you can't, just say, sorry man, I can't, uh, I can't really fix in my schedule because I'm doing something right now. Maybe try it another time. Sure, in the moment they'll feel bad about it, but in the long run, you've actually made a limit to how they'll expect you to be. And that's more better than just lying to them to make them feel happy then in the long run, destroying your name. And sometimes most of this example may show up in the early stages of relationship where you're out with a girl, then she says that, ah, if I have some friends who, who are around, we can go and meet up with them and hang out with them. And sure, you can just be the type of guy who just say, let's go hang with them, no problem. Or you can be the type of guy who says, I really wanted to meet you and know more about you. Let's just stick to the plan of what you had today. And with that, the expectations just set where it's supposed to be. Now I remember the first time when I got my driver's license, I was actually very, very proud of myself because it's actually a new skill that I've, I've learned at a young age. And uh, the problem is I would make sure that everyone knew that I knew how to drive and I got my driver's license. That's because I was proud, I was proud of it. I was going out to any type of person out there First, first thing in the conversation is I got my driver's license just yesterday or some few months ago and I know how to drive, I can drive from here to here. But I remember one time I was actually caught in the other side of the spectrum where I was out with my guy with two girls on a double date that time. Then two guys came to our table. They was actually driving quad bikes and the quad bikes were actually pretty, pretty cool, no lie. But the only thing, the only conversation that they could talk about is how they have, a vi they're living in a villa close to, close to the ocean. That's the only thing in the conversation that they were saying. Like, like, if you don't know that they have a villa close to the ocean, like they're worthless. And that, and that just made me think like, huh, I was actually pretty worthless before. Like everyone should, must, ev like everyone must know that I know how to drive so that I can get, have some few worthy opinions on me and with that I actually came about the fourth rule which I should never boast of anything that I'm proud of any accomplishment that I've made keep it to myself whether it's gaining 800 subs on YouTube keep it to myself whether it's your business keep it to yourself whether it's your clothing brand keep it to yourself till asked for and with that it actually made me feel more confident and my self-esteem rose up because I knew that Without this, I still have some worth in me. 
And the cool thing about this is that once you go around people and spend more time around people and people not actually start knowing more about you, they just start uncovering those layers of onions to know more about you. It's actually more interesting to them because, wow, this guy has a lot of stuff that we don't know about. Like what else does he, what, what, like what else does he, does he do? What more things that can he do? What more experience that does he have? Just from you keeping quiet about things you're proud of. Like no one really wants to know about it, but when they do know about it, it's actually pretty cool. And with that being said, I hope that you made the end of this video. And if you did, as always, I appreciate you, bro. And if I know the channel, what's up, bro? How you doing? Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I actually recommend that you watch this video right here because it's actually a bang of a video, like all other videos. And I'll see you all in the next video. And if I don't, I'll be mad, bro.